We're out in early July, water temps 79 degrees, and we're about two weeks behind here up in Minnesota, and our fish are finally gathering up out deep. So what we're gonna do today, is we're gonna scan some rocks, pinpoint with waypoints, pull up with the 360, and do some offshore fishing, and hopefully they're bunched up. Let's go see what happens. Okay, so here we're coming up to a offshore hump. As you can see, there's some rocks, gravel, a couple big rocks, nice line right there. Some fresh sunfish beds. This should be absolutely loaded with fish. We're starting our day out on an offshore hump, and this is a really awesome spot because it's bare, but it has a small patch of rocks. Next to those rocks, there's a bedding colony of bluegills. Now this spot isn't good right away. And when you scan over it, if those beds look like they're silted in from last year and they're not fresh, it's not even worth stopping. But the second you scan those and those, the beds on the side imaging look like they're cupped out, that means those fish are cleaning the nests and those largemouth bass are gonna be in there thick. When they're in there thick, we pull up and we kind of have a one-two punch that we like to do. My first cast or three is always with a big swim bait type bait. This is a three quarter ounce jig head. It's got a five inch spark shed on the back and I chuck that in there, let it hit the bottom and if a fish doesn't hit it right when it nails the bottom, it hits it on like the first or second crank. But we do that until they stop biting or slow down. And as we're doing that, Logan's always cleaning up. And what do you like to throw? Um, a darter on a drop shot. Got one? Yeah. Okay, fight him good. So Logan's got that drop shot out on that spot after we cleaned up some on the spark shad. So we kind of go heavy duty right away, then come back with some finesse. And there's a fish for Logan. Where's the fish there? Got him? What you got? So Logan's still got that drop shot going. Sounds like a good one. Stop for a second. Okay. So again, we hit that, we hit this spot with a big spark shed and took some big active fish off it right away. They quit after three. So then we started finesse fishing and then this is the second one on a drop shot. Oh. Big Northern. Oh. Well, I'm not very proud of catching the so. Can you grab me that plier? Yeah, the long one. The long red handle one's laying on the floor by the seat. So when I was young and we fished out deep. I had to use my imagination where I was casting because I had no idea what was out there. You're out in the middle of the lake you're casting, and you're using your mind to show you what you think is down there. And a lot of times, we didn't catch much. So when we're out there fishing out deep, how do you know where to cast? The 360 sonar is, like it shows you where the rocks are, where the weeds are, and it shows like where the fish should be. So you just take a quick glance, and then just stand up and aim. Yeah. yeah. How often do you hit your target? Quite a few times. Yeah. <laughs> This next spot we're pulling up to has a small little rock line coming off of it and it's got thick coontail that comes out to that eight to 10 feet. 
And sometimes those fish are out on the edge milling around. Sometimes they're up in the coon tail. And we just kind of pepper casts all over. And the key to that is we play the wind. Every day the wind's a little different. And with the spot lock, we can pull up whatever way we need to, position the boat, look at the 360 and know exactly where everything's at, hit spot lock. And then if those fish are going to bite for 30 minutes, we don't have to touch anything for 30. Some days they bite for an hour nonstop, and it's just focus on the fish, focus on having snacks, focus on doing whatever, and that boat never moves an inch. So real easy way. But, but this spot has rocks that go all the way up to 20 plus feet, and you just have to kind of work the whole area and see where they're at. Every day is different. It's always a new puzzle. But if you can lock yourself on that spot, it sure lets you play around with different baits and different depths and really focus on attacking that entire spot and not leaving fish. This spark shot is absolutely a crazy bait. That cast there, you could see me, I had a backlash, so I let it hit the bottom. And as I reel up the slack, there's a fish on it. I wasn't even working it. So it doesn't matter if you're reeling it, dead sticking it. Look at where this bait is on the fish, it's crazy. It is inside choke. Do ya? Yep. I feel like I got a bounce. Oh. Nice one? So I'm trying to fix my line and Logan's up here doing all the work. Oh, it's a dandy. There. Drop shot special. Logan's using the Levante whip snake rod. It's made especially for drop shots. Put together beautiful, works beautiful, handles the fish pretty easily. Okay, I got, the, I got that spark shad done, so I'm gonna put a mag draft freestyle on here. If she squeals a lot, you can tighten the drag just a little bit. Okay. It's about the same size as my other one. Nice. Logan putting in the work today. I'm gonna put my rod down. So while I'm sitting there tying my line, he's already hooked two nice bass, which means I gotta hurry up and get my line ready here so I can cast. Oh, new. Try him. Sweet. That's fun. Right? Bye, Mr. Bass. Do this one. Oh my. New cast. <laughs> That's what all of mine have been. They've been yeah. like little rain. Thank God you got that big weight on there because that helps you get it out there. Right. Oh, oh. He 
he hit that perch. Oh, it's a big one. First cast with that Meg Draft freestyle perch. It hit the bottom and the fish was already on it. Absolutely destroyed that bait. Another one? Oh my God. So when I see you open that rod locker and reach for that spinning reel, and you're pulling that drop shot rig out, and then you grab that plastic bag of baits, what's your go-to bait? A drop shot reel. Almost every time. <laughs> yep. You just hoist them over? Yeah. So just hold them like that. Okay. When you do it, you gotta commit and you gotta do it hard. Like you just you gotta grip it. Grip it. Once you grip it, grip it. Then you gotta take that hook and just work it. Wiggle it a little bit, jiggle it a little bit. But Sometimes it's hard. It's, uh, right. right off of nope, like that bone. one that's hard. There. I got it on this bone. Uh, Yeah, we have barely, we barely been out. Fish? Oh, nice. So he's up in the weeds, dude. You cast it where those weeds were. 